The best places to work, Thursdays on Live at 5. There is a stunning development in a long-running neighborhood pollution battle on the city's near east side. News 3 has learned aluminum foundry Madison Kipp says it no longer wants the very permit it's been fighting to keep. I-team reporter Linda Eggert has the exclusive details on a twist even some DNR officials are calling strange, Linda. Eric, this is a strange move on its face. Uh, Kip is suddenly doing the same thing its neighborhood opponents did, seeking a revocation of its new pollution permit. But why? Kip points to changing business needs, its opponents to some strings attached to the permit. After more than two years of packed public hearings, citizen complaints, and a costly state hearing, the aluminum foundry now says it no longer needs its new pollution permit. In a letter obtained by News 3, the Madison Kip Corporation asks the DNR to revoke and or withdraw its last approved permit. Kip says it's eliminated its need for the higher emission levels because there's less demand for products it makes, industry acceptance of higher magnesium levels in parts, and certain alloys that require less cleanup. Kip further writes perhaps most significant is selection of a new expansion facility in Sun Prairie for its new business. Permit revocation is what neighborhood opponent Clean Air Madison has been seeking all along. Members say less pollution is always good, but they contend Kip's motive is to avoid air monitoring. Last fall, a state judge upheld the new permit, but ordered Kip to operate two air monitors at and near its Atwood plant. I can't think of another motive for a company to go through probably more than $100,000 in legal fees to try to retain a permit and then at the end of the permit process just say never mind we're, we'd rather not have it after all. Clean Air Medicine attorney Frank Jablonski alleges air monitoring would show KIPP operating illegally beyond both new and old state emission levels. KIPP officials say they're confident that would not happen and deny any air monitoring motive but do say they believe the judge's order would go away if the DNR revokes their permit. A DNR lawyer tells us the main issue in granting KIPP's permit revocation is whether KIPP can operate legally under the old lower limits. A violation of those limits is what sparked the new permit in the first place. A decision could be made by Friday. The neighborhood's not celebrating yet, I take it. Kind of a split decision yeah. at this point. Stay yeah. tuned. All right, thank you, Lynn. Come on, Bucky. Come on, come on. Come on, get some of this. No, 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 no. Around the oh, PT Pier, baby. Come on, Bucky. You can't guard me. You know you can't. Hey, uh, Gary, instead of practicing your dribble, you might want to stick to forecasting drizzle. I know that. Good. Get Gary's exclusive fan forecast on the giant video boards during home games at the Kohl Center from WISC TV3. So, Gary, you got a forecast for our season this year.